All right, let's go ahead and show you what we're expecting for the next several days because I'm really liking this forecast. Clear skies are expected. We will see the temperatures go back into the 20s for tonight, but it's one of the cooler numbers I have on our forecast. We do 40s for tomorrow with plenty of sunshine and we are watching the clouds move out of here. There's still a few left over, uh, but for the most part, we're going to be getting rid of those and breaking into a new pattern. Here it is. I'll show you a satellite and radar tracker. I showed this a little bit earlier in the day, but I love how clear it is. Look at this Friday. It's nothing but sunshine heading into Saturday. It's nothing but sunshine and not just here. I mean, look at the entire forecast area. I mean, from all the way back into the Dakotas over to the East Coast. We're looking at clear skies heading into the weekend as well. Do start to notice one system taking shape. It looks that it will not arrive by this weekend, so we're looking pretty good for our forecast. At this point, it's just a numbers game. That 28 for tonight will follow a warm up, uh, will uh, lead into a warm up that's going to continue for several more days. Now, tomorrow is going to be a little bit of a transition period. Still have a wind out of the east coming off of the lake. Notice the temperatures into the 30s right along the lakefront, but if you're away from the lake, I think 40s are certainly going to be possible. Once we can get that wind that's not coming out of the lake, watch what happens when it switches around to the south and east. Look at everyone get into the 50s by Saturday, no longer have as much of a lake influence there. And that trend's going to continue because southeast winds on Saturday will become south winds and will pick up a little bit by Sunday, and that's going to move our temperatures back up into the 60s. And we continue that trend for several more days. So we go 40s, then 50s, then 60s, and then it looks like this warmer pattern is going to stay with us for a while, maybe even into the mid 60s by Monday. And by the way, these are pretty conservative numbers. Some locations could get into the mid 60s for sure on Sunday and may stay there for several days. I looked at the long range forecast from the uh, Climate Prediction Center. Looks like the East Coast is going to have a good chance over the next week or so to see those temperatures well above the average and we'll carry that for several more days. So we start with the coolest part of our forecast, but each and every day we get a little bit warmer and by the time we get into next week, it's definitely going to start to feel a little bit more like spring. Spring officially begins on Saturday, by the way. Chance of rain does arrive some spring showers on Tuesday, even into Wednesday, but holding the temperatures uh, near the uh, warmer side. Average high this time of year is 47. We're going to do well above that for the entirety of the seven day forecast. Yeah, making my weekend plans yeah. already, Rob. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.